92.7, 96.9-WRV. We have a special guest on the show today, uh, Tom DeLong uh, from Angels and Airwaves and Blink-182. How's it going, man? It is going good. Thanks for having me. And uh, Angels and Airwaves gearing up for the release of the new album on December 9th called The Dreamwalker. It's your fifth studio album. Would you say it's your favorite? You know what? Uh, it might be my second favorite only because the first one was such an extraordinary life change for me to when blink first broke up and we created the first record it was like a crazy you know losing my identity and trying to find out what i loved about music trying to discover something new about myself trying to produce for my first time and then also try and envision the band but not as a band but as an art project but we had so long till we can actually call it that you know so so this record though flash forward yeah it's like it's as far as songwriting and the evolution of, of myself as an artist um it's quite an accomplishment it's it's pretty it's pretty far forward uh than the last records it seems like we've made like three records in between these two so you produced this one as well uh the band so alan and i produced it with alan's brother aaron so there's basically three of us and they're fighting all day long <laughs> so not only will you be releasing this new album uh you're releasing an animated short as well tell me a little bit more about that well yeah kind of once again when when we started angels and airwaves we you know or me i i didn't want to do another band again i wanted to do something where i was constantly inspired and challenged by other great artists around me but i also envisioned um, you know, the music industry changing. At the time, my, I, I had some companies, and we created a system called Mob Life, which is a, a platform that powers the monetization of other bands' uh, uh, properties. So we, our, our software powers Pearl Jam's 10 Club, you know, what allows them to, you know, have a big fan club, do ticketing and sell music and all these different things. And, and we do it with Nine Inch Nails. We've done it with Kanye. We, we, we do a lot of stuff with this platform. But when we created it, it was because I thought music in the future was going to be more than just music. I, I you know, record sales were kind of, were, were going to hell. And mm -hmm. uh, so I was thinking, I'm like, if well, music's going to be free, what is it about the art that's going to be, um, you know, able to, to make a living for these artists? And so we built that platform envisioning that the artist of the future was going to do more than just music. They were going to use the same computer to make movies and make animations and write novels and do all these things. So looking far forward, I knew that that's what I wanted to do, you know, and we created a company called To The Stars, and it took a while to get it off the ground and get the infrastructure right, but we, we are rolling fast now. So on our last record, Love, we released a feature film called, or uh, we released a feature film called Love, and, and uh and it was a science fiction film. It was a, it was a live action narrative um, about human consciousness and human connection. We won a bunch of awards for it. Um, but on this one, now we're kind of going for the more mainstream, larger, uh, more ambitious kind of uh, goal. And it, it's called Poet Anderson. And um, Angels and Airways is doing a soundtrack. You know, it's the album called The Dreamwalker. And Poet Anderson is a dreamwalker. He is an orphan that you know is a lucid dreamer and he he's orphaned with his brother but his brother's in a coma so he believes he can reach his brother um, in, in the dream world but the dream world is like this fantastic mashup of like Blade Runner and Star Wars and all these cr it's crazy violent but you, we, we're showing parts of it in the, in the animated short film which is how we're launching it it's actually anime it's it's kind of American slash you know Japanese but it's but it's um it's it's a really really high end cool um short and it took us two years to do it because we're doing it on like nights and weekends but this is a really long convoluted answer to tell you why we did the animation <laughs> and so you know we launch with the animated short and then the album and uh, the novel comes out in spring we have a New York Times best selling author Suzanne Young is writing this novel with me. And then after that, we have the feature film coming out. And so it's just been this heroic way of wrangling all these artists together to work on one project. And that's kind of what my goal has been for 10 years now. That's cool. And, and what's great about that is you just answered like three of my questions now. I don't even have to ask. Well, so. I, you know, I wanted to go get a hamburger. So I was like, <laughs> how can I hurry up? And... Uh, so uh, last year we saw you expand your repertoire even more. Uh, you you uh, wrote a children's book. Can we expect any more uh, of that kind of thing in the future? You know what's funny when I when I did that, it was such um, you know it, it was such an impulsive kind of hey let's just do this you know just uh, put no thought 
into the reasoning why or if I would do more. This I just did it right. And, yeah. But the biggest decision and and the hardest one wasn't about doing it. It was whether I should make it like totally like NC seventeen or if I should like, make it an actual <laughs> children's book. And uh, that's the that's the issue I have in life. You know, jumping from Angels and Airways to Blink One Eighty Two. It's like, am I an adult? Am I a philosopher? <laughs> you know, on the other side, I'm all my just uh, the, the guy that got kicked out of high school and, and joined a punk band. But uh, <laughs> but I, I I would like to do more of that stuff. You know, a lot of what I'm doing with To the Stars and Angels and Airways, uh, the the company that that is doing all of this stuff, you know, you got to think of the stars like Marvel, kind of, you know, uh-huh. where we have these properties that are launching over the next couple of years. But um, a lot of what I'm doing with that was years ago, you know, experiencing Comic-Con for the first time. It's in San Diego. It's the biggest thing ever in San Diego. But you go into this place, there's 60,000 people, and, and it's adults being kids with their kids. And it's, and it's such fantastic billions and billions of dollars of creating new worlds, whether – you have something like Disney or Star Wars or Marvel or DC Comics or The Walking Dead or Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings. Like, these guys have trade show booths and robots and spaceships and comics and novels and movies. And I was like, that art is on such a different level than making a record. You know, it's, it's, it takes thousands of people to do it. It takes millions of dollars to do it, and it's very collaborative. And so, um, you know, that, 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 that's really, you know, it's kind of like doing a children's book because I like, you know, I like kids and young adults. I remember being them, but uh, it's also because I was so inspired when I when I went to the to that. Yeah, we visited San Diego a couple of years ago, and it was during uh, Comic Con, and it was it was it was a pretty amazing experience. Just seeing everybody walking around all dressed up. And, yeah, dressed like warlocks and stuff. It's yeah, crazy. everybody's so creative. It's 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 awesome to see. And yeah. uh, just want to shift gears a little bit. You did mention Blink One Eighty Two. How's it going with the new album? Good. We we've been searching vigorously for the right partner of how we're going to put that out. And I literally think I got the last email last night uh, as far as uh, signing this paperwork to say, okay, this is our partner. So I can't announce anything yet. But um, so next is all the scheduling of when and how and where and with whom we do it. Um, So I think the goal is right after the holidays, uh, we're going to be going pretty hardcore. Nice. That's great to hear. I know the fans will be excited about that. And uh, you've stated some of your uh, your music is influenced by uh, Pink Floyd. Have you had a chance to check out their new album? What are your thoughts on that one? Yeah, and the thing I loved about Floyd, I can't pretend that I'm like the biggest uh, Pink Floyd fan in the world. What I liked about them is they were dreamers and they and they were ambitious and they shot to do things that were totally different and bigger and bolder than most at the time. And uh, and that to me. Um, was really really cool and and that's kind of really where i'm trying to to aspire to think like you know but it's hard it's it's hard when when you compare it to because you you know they had they made a 20 million dollar movie our movie that we put out last record with angels was five hundred thousand dollars and took us five years and we had to we had to build a civil war in 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 our director's backyard and build a spaceship in his driveway up in Santa Barbara, <laughs> and uh, you know it was from Home Depot. It's crazy, so it took us forever. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it. That's crazy, man. Well, I, I just want to uh, thank you for calling in today. I really appreciate it. Well, one final question: You're a pretty busy guy. Do you still find time to skateboard? Oh uh, no, no, I can't do that. I would uh, very easily. Uh, fall and probably break my neck. But it's weird, you know, you grew up skateboarding, you're so used to just grabbing that thing and running as fast as you can, jumping on it and going, and you still feel like you can. You know, I see a yeah. skateboard and it feels like it's an extension of me, but uh, but then you'll get on it and you're like, wow, this is a lot more wobbly than I remember, you know? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, trust me, I, I, I lost all athletic ability at some point. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, uh, it's like weird, but... But I love it. You know, it's in Sandy. We just drove by today. They just built this sick skate park. Like the sickest, it's like, it's like the 15th skate park in San Diego now. Because they, there's like this huge city, um, you know, push, money, crazy thing where they built this giant sports park where it's baseball fields, football fields, all the it's beautiful lights up at night. They're not, they haven't even opened it yet. But off to the side of it is the most incredible skate park they built as part of it. And, and, uh, I'm just thinking in my head, like, it's a norm now. They build a sports park, but they build skate park with it. It's considered a sport. When I was a kid, oh my, we were, like, sneaking into people's backyards and draining their pool to skate a pool. I know. Like, it was like the outcast vibe, you totally. know? Totally. 
Yeah, yeah it, it's it, and these kids are so good now because now they have the best skate parks in the world. They can go there all day, every day. You know, half of our skateboarding when we were younger was just searching for the right curb. You mm-hmm. know, like right. there's a really cool curb 30 miles from here in an industrial <laughs> park, but you got to hike to it. You know, it's, <laughs> you know, but uh, it's just a different world. But it's so cool. That's awesome. Well, Tom, thank you very much for calling in. Tom from Angels and Airways and Blink 182. We're excited for the Dreamwalker, December 9th. Everybody should check that out. You can pre-order it now at the website, too. So uh, we'll hopefully see you out on the road sometime next year. Yeah, and thank you guys so much for supporting us. Uh, it, it means a lot. We worked really hard on this stuff. And uh, everyone, you know, go, ch- go out and check out the animated trailer for Poet Anderson, which is, you know, the beginning of what this record is all about. It'll lead to the novel in spring and then the movie after that. And so check it out.